What's up Rippers, this is Trailbound Chris and I'm getting ready for my Oregon trip. Today I'm gonna talk about the different gear that I carry in my pack and on my bike. So stick around. <laughs> I got invited to this uh, Oregon trip and you know it's gonna be raining all week but it's gonna be awesome so I'm just getting everything packed up I want to start by talking about what I carry on my bike so my bike's been in like race mode but I'm gonna put it back into enduro mode trail saw rain jacket I think it's gonna be raining all weekend tools we got the enduro straps the hooks and then the rain jacket in this uh, dry bag. When you're freezing cold, you, you want something that's dry, so it's gonna help you out. This is my chainsaw rack that I'm developing. Probably not gonna need that, but I will pack my top handle saw on the van because you never know when you need some uh, firewood. So I started adding these little uh, pins here to uh, deal with the extra straps. I think it's working pretty good. Have, they haven't really fallen off. Here's my silky big boy. Love this saw. Haven't really been riding the woods much, so I haven't needed it, but I'll uh, pack it in. This is my saw sheath. Just with some uh, shorter 20 inch trail bound straps. And basically, just gonna strap it on to the hand guards. Like so. Got the rear fender hook set up going on. As you can see here, I already have one in there. I was just testing some different colors, orange and black. But I've, I've been loving having my tools back here. So I call this the tool burrito. Open it up and one-handed you can grab whatever you need. <laughs> Tire irons, and you know, typical stuff. It's nice and low profile so you don't notice it. Keeps the weight off your back, which I really like. Never had this fall off, both these fender hooks and the enduro straps, it's been pretty dialed. That's about it, as far as my bike goes. All right, let's see. Just double checking what I got. All right, this is a trail bound parts pouch. It's designed so that you can get to everything from a flat view. So here's the trail bound bolt bag, a similar design, pops open. You can see I've got a bunch of different bolts. I've got a master link in there, um, valve stem, clips, all that. And as you can see, I've got these, these organizers built into it. So you have one kind of pocket here. You can put a few things right here, the bolt bag. And then there you got more stuff. So with this design, you don't have to like dump everything out. You can kind of just sort through it like this. It's really nice. So you're not kind of losing stuff by throwing it on the ground. I can make this custom camo one if anyone wants one. Uh, right now I'm making them in black. This is a smaller version of the parts pouch. So as you can see here, compare the two. Um, this one is just nice for smaller items. It doesn't have the the pocket. Um, you know, I've got a GoPro battery in there, some mountain money, a lighter of course, paracord, pen, sharpie, chapstick. It's kind of miscellaneous stuff. It just makes it nice and organized. Um, I've got this little GoPro handle. Um, it's kind of like a selfie stick, but uh, I'm using it to film with the new GoPro 7, which has that stabilization in it. Um, and it's great for, it's, this is almost like a steady cam. You can kind of get close to the rider. All right, so this is a trail bound tow rope. Um, so it's got the leather tie built into it. It's got two end loops. At 13 and a half is what I've been going with and it's been working well. So when you're all done, you simply just tow it, uh, simply just tighten it down and you're good to go. So this is a trail bound light that I've been carrying around and testing and it's been working awesome. Got in a sheath. You can put a spare battery here or two spare batteries even. Um, so basically it has a GoPro mount. So it just clips into the side of your helmet 
or an existing GoPro, wherever you have it. And what I like about it is that it tilts, so you can adjust it that way. And it pivots, so you can adjust it like that. Tighten it down. This thing is super bright, so it works really well. Um, you can zoom it. It just ends up being a really nice light to keep in the pack just in case you have to ride out of the woods. I'm not suggesting you're going to race Baja with this light. I'm just saying it's a small package um, and the battery on it is replaceable. So you can buy these batteries. Um, we sell them as a kit, but you can also buy those. It's a standard battery. And what I really like is that you can charge it with this USB. So you don't have to have a separate kit in your van. You can just uh, plug it into your cigarette lighter and get to go. And of course I've got my uh, three liters of water. And I fill that up ahead of time so I don't have to do a day of. Get snacks, um, a thermal top layer. I've got some uh, spare gloves in here in this little dry bag. Guess it's gonna be raining. Camera. A6000. And of course on my phone I've got Insta, just kidding, I've got Gaia and that's going to keep me safe because um, I can track where, I've, where I'm going um, and the different routes because I'm going to a whole new place so this will follow where I'm going and I'll be able to backtrack um, where, wherever it is. So I can do a full review on how I use Gaia so, so I'll do more info on that but Essentially, you just have to download um, areas of the map ahead of time. You don't have to find a, a map online or whatever. You just go to the area and and download it. Um, just search for it. You know, it's, it's a lot like Google Maps, but just more high tech. It's awesome. I'm gonna be bringing this bad boy because it's gonna be raining the whole time, and I need to dry out my uh, gear. Um, I haven't. I I've had this for a year, and I've never used it. Um, I always have in the van. I don't know. I just never wanted to waste propane. I'm trying it out now. It works pretty good. I think I would have went with the bigger buddy um, heater instead of this little buddy one though, because it's a little kind of weird shape. Tops so topple over easily. So I'm gonna bring this, and I feel have a feeling it's gonna come in handy. All right, a little bit different setup than usual. I got my bike up here in the front. It kind of messes up the flow, but. I'm going to put Sean's bike right here where mine usually is. And all his gear can go here. Got a little bit of firewood. Mix some gas tomorrow. Make sure I got five gallons. And I've been driving all day. So I've been driving since five in the morning. And finally starting to get up to some scenic country. Getting close to the border. Getting stoked. I'm going to meet up with Sean right now. So, more to come. Me and Sean roll up the fire road. We find the camp spot that Nick dropped the pin for us, and it's just on a beautiful bluff. You've got 270 degrees views all around you. We made camp for the night after our 12 hour drive, and we're gonna hit it in the morning. All right guys, thanks for checking out the video. Orchid's been awesome. So I put all the different pieces that I carry in my kit. Uh, in the link in the description so you can check that out. Let me know in the comments if I forgot to pack anything or what you would have packed differently. If you guys have some friends that aren't very prepared, send them this video and, and let them know that what they should be carrying on their trail so you don't have to take care of them, you know? Thanks for watching, guys.